Police in London, Ontario are seeking warrants to further a renewed investigation into what happened in June 2018. Some details were already known after a settlement reached by Hockey Canada became public. That settlement in a case of a woman who alleges several members of Canada's World Junior Hockey Team sexually assaulted her in a hotel room. The new court documents were first obtained by the Globe and Mail. They outline the police's need for search warrants and they include first-hand accounts from some players. All names have been redacted. The alleged victim, 20 at the time, is referred to as EM. I believe on reasonable grounds that EM was sexually assaulted. In all, five players are named. None of the police allegations have been tested in court and no charges have been laid. The documents reveal there was a man at a bar, described as older and well-dressed, that the victim alleges poured a shot in her mouth and encouraged her to take care of the player she was dancing with. The filing also notes the player messaged the complainant on Instagram after hearing police had been contacted from somebody at Hockey Canada. The documents refer to a group text message chat among players, with one player inviting the others to the hotel room to take part in sex acts. The police want to review those messages. They also want to enter the London hotel room in which the alleged offences occurred. The information we've been hearing the last several months, as, as shocking as it is, it could get worse. Hockey Canada has lost funding, sponsors and an entire board of directors as a result of sexual assault allegations, settlements and its handling of the crisis. There's so many of these stories that are probably either in the courts, uh, being settled, uh, you know, or just are never going to be talked about. Sarah, so what happens next? Well, Ian, with the judge approving the warrant request, police in London continue their investigation, but they're not the only ones. In fact, the NHL as well as Hockey Canada say they are investigating too. So far, though, no charges have been laid. All right, Sarah Levitt in Montreal. Thank you.